Top Dem Jerry Nadler is calling for the full release of the Robert Mueller report. The week reported that the House Judiciary Committee is expected to approve a raft of subpoenas on Wednesday, most notably a demand that Attorney General William Barr turn over a full, unredacted version of special counsel Robert Mueller's report on Russian election interference and President Trump's campaign, plus underlying documentation. Democrats hold a seven-seat majority on the panel, and the vote is expected to hew closely to party lines. If committee chair Gerald Nadler, DNY, issues the subpoena and Barr ignores it, the Judiciary Committee could hold him in contempt, setting up a potentially lengthy court battle. Barr missed an April 2 deadline to turn over the roughly 400-page report. Watch the video. A House panel will soon vote to subpoena for the full Mueller report. At Joe Johnson has the latest details, https colon slash slash t dot co slash mzfx cpfmx pick dot twitter dot com slash f59 ebjk, new day, at new day, April 3, 2019. However, a video from 1998 shows Nadler wanted the exact opposite in regards to the report on Bill Clinton from then special counsel Ken Starr. Watch the video, from Washington Examiner Rep. Gerald Nadler, DNY, chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, is the leading Democrat demanding the release of the Mueller report in its entirety without redactions. His committee is planning to subpoena the Justice Department for the full report. But back in 1998, as a member of the same committee, he vociferously opposed the release of the full star report, saying that as a matter of decency and protecting people's privacy rights, people who may be totally innocent third parties, what must not be released at all. Then, the president was Bill Clinton, now, it is a Republican, Donald Trump. Ken Starr, the independent counsel investigating then-President Bill Clinton, delivered his report to Congress on September 9, 1998. That night, Nadler went on Charlie Rose's show to push back against the Republican demand that the voluminous report should be made public. It's grand jury material. It represents statements which may or may not be true by various witnesses, Nadler said. Salacious material. All kinds of material that it would be unfair to release, what Nadler, 71, said in 1998 echoes what Attorney General William Barr told Congress last week. Barr, 68, wrote that he might redact grand jury testimony, information related to ongoing investigations, sensitive or classified information and information that would unduly infringe on the personal privacy and reputational interests of peripheral third parties from the report that he provides to Congress and the public. In a New York Times op-ed Monday, Nadler wrote, We, the members of the Judiciary Committee, the House of Representatives, and the entire American public, are still waiting to see that report. We have an obligation to read the full report, and the Department of Justice has an obligation to provide it, in its entirely, without, delay. 21 years ago, Nadler said that the Starr report was inherently biased against Clinton, we should always remember this is a prosecutor's report, by its nature it's a one-sided report. He complained about Clinton not being allowed to get a sneak peek at the Starr report before it was made public, the president is asking for two days. The Republicans say no. In October 1998, Nadler attacked the legitimacy of the independent counsel investigation. Starr thinks he is going to be investigating things in four years, I find that astonishing and appalling. Is this a permanent inquisition against the president? The language Nadler used was reminiscent of the witch hunt language used by Trump in reference to Mueller's investigation. In a February 1999 article in the New York Times, Nadler called the Starr report and impeachment efforts by Republicans a partisan coup d'etat. He said he didn't think Clinton had obstructed justice and that even if he had, it would not be an impeachable offense. An impeachable offense is an abuse of presidential power designed to or with the effect of undermining the structure or function of government, or undermining constitutional liberties, Nadler said. Last month, before Mueller had finished his investigation, Nadler was already claiming that it's very clear that the president obstructed justice. He said impeachment was a possibility. We have to do the investigations and get all this, we do not now have the evidence all sorted out to do an impeachment, before you impeach somebody, you have to persuade the American public that it ought to happen. Special Counsel Mueller declined to charge anyone associated with the Trump campaign of coordination with the Russians, 
but did not reach a decision on obstruction. Attorney General Barr and Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein concluded that Trump had not obstructed justice.